They don't have that innate sentry bonus. They drop Gecko, send him across the field. Um, that's a really smart choice, but uh, we're still not seeing the damage apply. Uh, hopefully they get something that's slow moving enough where, where those Geckos can start to do work. Yeah, for now, so little going. Okay, now some damage onto Navy Dummies, but that, that kind of means Godfather's movie has given up on that Celestis they were shooting at. Uh, testing if the Navy Dummies are a little weaker. You see some breath bots there. Um, Navy Dummies have no turrets fit to them, so a lot of utility in the hives, I'm guessing. I don't see any smart bombs running, but uh, they won't be uh, doing any using that hybrid bonus at all. Uh, some damage starting to get sustained by the Godfather's Ishtar. Um, they're, of course, using those frigate logistics, uh, which for now is working out just fine. The damps, of course, pretty bad news for them because their lock range is already pretty low, but they're able to stay in tight. There's no afterlife ships anywhere near the Godfather's team to uh, try and put pressure on those bursts for now. So everybody holding strong. And there are a couple of sets of armor rep bots out on the side of the afterlife. I'm, I'm looking through now. I do see a medium flight, presumably, from the Oneros. Um, there were also some lights a second ago, unless I'm hallucinating, but uh, they don't really need them at this juncture. I mean, nobody's in armor. Uh, I would hope that there's some DPS flights they can pull out of, of maybe those molluscs to send over to maybe do some shield damage to the Godfathers, because right now it's just a good old Mexican standoff. There is uh, some lights in the air. I see them circling around the uh, one of the bursts, trying to put some damage on him. It also looked to me like, for a bit at least, there was uh, an attempt to kill some of the Godfather's drones that have gotten near the Afterlife team. Uh, a whole big fleet of geckos now heading back across towards the Godfather's team from the Afterlife side. Uh, see what target they choose and see if it does anything. Still no damage really being sustained. And there you see a big chunk of damage going on to that burst. Also ECM applied. No reps coming into that burst. He could be in real trouble. Ooh, ECM uh, drops for a second and reps come through. But uh, that's a big deal if they're able to get that burst down. Looks like they're going to be able to, and he does drop. And uh, meanwhile, the Celestis of uh, Vol Voldemar, something along those lines, uh, he did take a little bit of damage. It instantly got wrapped up. This Oneros pilot is on it. Um, and this Ewar is absolutely wreaking havoc on the Godfather's side. So I kind of wonder about the Blackbird. He doesn't seem like he's been terribly effective thus far. Um, maybe a, another Celestis would have been a good option. But by the same token, it's working for him as they now have not lost a single ship. And they have taken out those bursts on the side of uh, the Godfathers. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say that it's, uh, like, it's hard to know which e, which E-War pressure was the most significant. But the Blackbird may have played a big role in getting those bursts down since they weren't able to rep each other. And now... With logistics out of the way, Afterlife looks like they're going to start picking away at that support wing, taking a, a worm out first. Um, but in the meantime, their Talwar is tackled. Ooh, actually just broke free of tackle. GM probably coming through to shake that tackle off. And well, uh, uh, Talwar getting ripped back up. Uh, the Godfathers has realized that not being able to target anything is actually hindering their ability to kill anyone, and they have charged in full force. Uh, they are now right in their midst. You're going to see, hopefully, uh, some tackle spread throughout. I can definitely see the worms in close. I'm, I'm not sure if they'll have tackle or not. Um, but they're getting right in the middle. I mean, even the Claymore is in there, maybe trying to, to pin something down for the Gila. And yeah, that Mirconics and the Ishtar got Whoa. erased. Erased. Looks like they've had enough of chasing after support. They, they did finish off that worm. Uh, probably their heretics still working on these worms, but they did manage to uh, get some geckos moved on over onto that first Ishtar, and he went down super fast. Um, damage being spread around the Afterlife team got, like you said, that you were doing a lot of work, I'm sure, and Keyleth's probably uh, moving damage to whatever they're able to lock. Another worm down for Godfather. So far looking really good for Afterlife and their Navy dummies. And as much as I hate to say it, yeah, they, they have locked this down pretty well. I mean, <laughs> a really comfortable run from them. I mean, their tanks have not been threatened. Their E-War pilots are doing a fantastic job either cycling damps or, or just being cognizant of range and making sure damps are on targets that they will um, affect. And this, this other Ishtar is going down. And in my mind, that's, that's pretty much it. Three Gila's uh, with the Claymore and uh, Harpy and a Worm for DPS on the side of uh, the Afterlife, but or sorry, uh, for the Godfathers. They can kill this Oneros, but they can't kill this Oneros and kill the Navy Dominixes unless they, they really pull out a miracle. So I think it's going to be a war of attrition at, at this point for uh, for the Godfathers. And this Gila of Vlada Silni is taking damage, but also this Celestis and now a Worm on the Afterlife side. The Worm just gone. <laughs> Yeah, one thing that's that's definitely happened.